Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. Uh, Daryl Mandel and I are here to bring you all the latest happenings here uh, on the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. It, uh, we want to start out with the verse of the day, which Ganem usually delivers for us, but he's off on assignment. We'll be back uh, for the next broadcast. But in the meantime, Daryl has uh, filled those mighty shoes with the verse of the day. Uh, what do you have, Daryl? Well, I have John verses, John 1, verses 10 through 12, which says, He was in the world, and the world made, was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So that's a pretty good definition, isn't it? I think so. Why did you choose that verse? I think that that, uh, well, it prefaces itself by saying, he made this world, and he came into it, but the world didn't recognize him. He wasn't recognized by uh, his own creation. But uh, to those who do recognize him, to those who do believe on him, he gives them the power to become the sons of God, which is what he is. Mm. So I think you just said something quite profound just now. And that the world didn't recognize him when he came the first time. Uh, I don't think the world recognizes him any better, uh, you know, until this date. Yeah, I think so, that's actually very true. And that's why he's going to come in a different manner <laughs> the second time. And boy, it's, uh, I want to be ready. How about you? Oh, yeah. And, you know, times and technologies have changed to the point where, you know, the traditional ideas of what, how you would recognize him, you know, the things that can be done with technology now, not that many years ago would have been considered miracles or something of a spiritual mm -hmm. nature. Well, we forget uh, that uh, well, as recently as, as in the 80s, cell phones were oh, yeah, that, that <laughs> really non-existent. Yeah. You have to be real rich to get one. Um, and, of course, we were in broadcasting, so we, we were amongst the first to use that technology. And boy, uh, look at it now. Mm -hmm. They're talking about 5G. What's that? Right. You know, and, well, and that's an amazing thing for, I mean, I just read these, these texts off of my phone. Yes. I can, I can find the entire Bible on this phone in every version there is and every language right off this phone. And all of the information basically known to man you can find on this phone. It's just interesting because, you know, Jay Hughes and others uh, that were in the room were laughing at us, Daryl and I, because we were getting ready for, you know, this broadcast, and we were both on our cell phones and, you know, looking up verses and, and that kind of stuff. And, and the comment was made, well, that would be a great TV show, two guys just sitting around the table looking at their cell phones with the audience wondering, am I going to receive the text from them and when it's going to happen? Well, Jesus doesn't operate uh, like that. He outlines it clearly. Mm -hmm. There's no ambiguity. And I think that's one of the reasons he chose that verse. Yep. He is a creator. No matter what they say, no matter what churches kind of back off on that, we're not going to back off on that because that's where it all begins. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what uh, the, the foundation of Sabbath is built on is uh, the creation and the recognition of uh, what God did for us uh, on yep. those other six days. Anything else to add? Well, I mean, I just can't help but mention that, uh, um, you know, television networks like this one, actually like all eight of the LLBN television networks, are available now all around the world on just on this device. That's right. Billions of people literally can watch LLBN on this device in many languages. You, you should try it out if you haven't. Mm -hmm. There's a website that you go to on your mobile device, isn't there? 
yeah, llbn.tv as you can go to, or if uh, to get the app, you just go to, if you have an iPhone, go to the uh, um, Apple Store, the App Store on Apple. If Android, the same thing, and look up the LLBN app. It's free, easy to download. And then very quickly, you just go to the app, and there's the channel of your choice. Yeah. Uh, if you're not technologically minded, uh, you know, perhaps you have a son or a daughter or, or mother or father that could uh, give you a hand. I mean, once you do it, it makes it so easy mm -hmm. to, uh, to use. Well, a lot of things are being going on here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network, and uh, uh, we want to highlight uh, one special program that uh, you're going to uh, be seeing on mm -hmm. the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network uh, this evening. As a matter of fact, this afternoon, Daryl, tell us about it. Oh, uh, yes, uh, Christian Connections um, be a, uh, a great show this evening, 6, uh, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Well, Daryl, let's see some of this action that happened last Tuesday night. And so with a fractured hip, I was housebound for a while. And during that time, it's, it's funny, I sat down, I started to journal. And as I was journaling, I opened the scriptures and I opened some um, other books. And it led me to pray about things. And um, my thought was, you know, if God did it for those who were in the Bible when they prayed, he'll do it for me. So we are going to be reading from Psalm chapter 51, and I'm just going to read the first verse, actually. And it reads, Be gracious to me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the greatness of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Christ will hear you. Christ is near you. Though you've gone astray. Now is the day of salvation, let him wash your sins away, let him wash your sins away. Well, there you have it. Uh, that's going to be... 6.30 p.m. right here on the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. It's the last time you'll be able to see this Christian Connections uh, because we're going to have a live one next Tuesday, is that right? That's right. Well, in the meantime, uh, there's more fabulous live programming that is going to be coming to you uh, this afternoon uh, about 4.30 p.m. Daryl, tell us all about it. Oh, uh, yes. It's a... Uh, um, a, a basically a health initiative that's being done and for the for the community at large not just here in Loma Linda but around the world and in, in major cities and a variety of places you're not going to want to miss this in fact let's take a look at uh, a, a little teaser for that more information that you can use here's Leela have you ever wanted to be a medical missionary? You may have heard of Your Best Pathway to Health, mega clinics around North America. Well, now you have the opportunity to participate in a worldwide event, mega clinics provided to patients that are needy everywhere. It's a partnership of Loma Linda University Church with Adventist World Radio and the General Conference Health Ministry Department to provide these services, and you are needed. Come next Sabbath at 4.30 p.m. to the Loma Linda University Church and learn more. You won't regret it. Don't miss Dr. Leela. What time, Daryl? That's at 4.30 this, this afternoon, Pacific time. Well, there is going to begin a special week of renewal uh, starting on Monday uh, on the campus of Loma Linda University and the Medical Center. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of its outlying clinics are going to start this week off every morning with a special weekend renewal uh, morning worship. And the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network is going to be carrying that live. And so if you're an alumni, alumni of uh, the university, you'll be uh, interested in it. And if you're a supporter of the university, you'll be especially uh, interested in receiving the special blessing. Uh, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time, uh, mm -hmm. to 9 a.m. on the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Uh, Monday is going to feature a, a very special speaker. It's the leader of this institution, Dr. Richard Hart. And along with that, you'll be hearing some great music. 
and uh, special words from the director of spiritual care here at the medical center. On Tuesday, uh, the introductions will be by Trevor Wright, and the special speaker will be Willie Davis. Helen Steppoltz Evans will lead off a program on Wednesday morning, that's uh, 8.30 to 9 a.m., uh, as well as uh, Grace Oyai and uh, Daryl Vanderbush uh, will do Thursday with uh, Lee Aveling and uh, the director of the chaplaincy, uh, Carl Ricketts, uh, will be delivering a special message for you. Uh, Friday, we'll uh, end up with Scott Perryman and, and Arwen Wild. All that uh, from the Medical Center. Now, in the mid-morning, from 11 to noon, uh, it'll be the week of renewal for the campus, the students at large. And we also will be carrying that Monday through Friday. Yeah, don't want to miss it because this is a very special recommitment in the beginning of 2019 to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Daryl? Absolutely. And uh, so, yes, uh, don't, don't forget, 8.30 to 9 and then 11 to noon. Mm. Well, we just got uh, time left for uh, one of your letters. And Daryl has that. Uh, who's that letter from and where are they from? Well, they're from here in California. It is a Mrs. Tay. And uh, she says, To the President, Brother Hannah, founder and officers, and dedicated volunteers of LLBN, dear brothers and sisters in faith, I was touched by the Holy Spirit to continue supporting your excellent programs and dedication and hard work for lighting lives and blessing nations. I joined the tour with you on television from room 104 to a wonderfully progressive uh, renting slash building construction to a successful gospel outreach. Enclosed is my small donation. Praising God for his guidance and blessings, the good work you do, my faith is strengthened by the messages you send uh, to the whole world. Your music, messages, prayer group, discussion, which are all uh, needed in this fallen world, fills me with, up with love, joy, and peace. The main object of this holiday season, Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you so much for keeping me on track and spiritually alive. I long for that heavenly home as our ultimate destination with much gratitude, sincerely. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'd love to hear from all of you, so uh, don't forget to keep those cards and letters coming. I will give you more updates and more reports on the next edition of Week in Review. See you next time here on LLBN.